Hello and welcome to Project Zomboid. We will be starting in Louisville. The zombie population is set to insane, though this is a new spawn, so we will not be spawning into that many. It's the um it's it's, it's starting at one and increasing to the max at day fifteen, I think. So I'm just gonna hit random a bunch of times here. Uh, looks like we're playing Sophia Hoffman. Who we're playing doesn't matter because we're probably going to die. I'm not entirely... Uh, I don't I don't have the Louisville map memorized. So where I am might be a little bit of a surprise. Hopefully it's somewhere good. I don't know where the great spots are. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. I don't know where the great spots are. I've heard tell that there are a few really good ones. Hopefully we spawn somewhere near one of those. I do have the starting equipment enabled, I think, so I'm going to start with a bat. Hopefully it's enough to get me somewhere. I am not one of the uh, professional players. It's taking a minute to load. Here we go. All right. Where spawned on a staircase? Interesting. Let's equip this. First things first. So it looks like we are in some kind of an apartment complex. Bat. Normally there's not zombies that spawn in your own house when you start the game, at least on a new world. If this was uh, not a new world, you could spawn into a house that has zombies. For example, if you're playing multiplayer. The game does try to limit that, but it's not perfect. So we're just going to scope out this house real quick to see what's in here. Uh, let's swap over here. Yeah, so um, I am a lumberjack. Uh, I have some of my traits. I've got the smoker trait. I have got high thirst, fast learner. What is that? Key tar. I have no idea what that is. Blue electric guitar. I know what that is. Keytar almost reminds me of like uh, something uh, from uh, what's that Disney game? Kingdom Hearts. The key weapon. Bathroom. Ah, oh, bandage. Very nice. Bandages are good. Let's see, nothing. Nothing else in here. Um, yeah, I don't. I don't really know where I am. I don't know if this is a good place. Looks like... Gosh, it looks like there's just zombies everywhere. I see fence, tall fences over there. I could... Is there a door this way? Yes, okay. Let's check out if there's anything interesting in here. Uh, I am going to need a pen. The pen will let me mark on my map. If I don't have a pen, you can't mark on the map. All right. It's a foggy day, of course. So the zombie count should be fairly low starting out. It's green building down here. Let's go check that out. It looks like a market. So the, uh, okay. Now, I was reading some of the patch notes for Zomboid. I have not played since this has been implemented, but I saw the setting where uh, zombies can play dead. And I don't know how you tell if one is dead or not. This one looks dead, but, uh, ooh, a can opener. But again, I'm not sure how to tell. Uh, I saw that setting, I didn't touch it. Seems fairly safe. Until the uh, zombie population goes up, we should be all right for quite a while. Let's try to stomp on them. Save our bat. If we can save our bat durability until we find something good. Okay, what is this over here? Um. 
Now, zombies cannot get through tall fences. It looks like... Is he trying to break that? So he can break that. Die, please. Please don't break this. Uh, I have... Uh, the infection rate for me, I have uh, scratch and laceration off. It's bite only. I like that style of play. I feel that you should be able to get uh, injured and not go full zombie. Stay down, please. Don't get up. Make this easy on both of us. Hard hat, uh, butter knife, for, uh, oh, a vest. That'll give us a little bit of protection. So it looks like we are in a construction yard. If I leave these gates open, they won't beat on them. Um, let's check the perimeter out. We may have come across a decent area, unless the fence does not go all the way around. If the fence doesn't go all the way around, we might be screwed. This guy has a backpack, or a school bag or something. Satchel, I'm gonna drop this on the ground, see if there's any nothing in it. There's a dead zombie over there. Again, I don't know how to tell... Oops, he's not dead. I don't know how to tell if they're actually dead or not. Where'd he go? Hello, sir. Let's skill up. We want that bottle. Huh. Yeah, I don't know how to tell if they're dead dead or not dead. I suppose I won't be able to tell until uh, one walks up and bites me. Excuse me. Okay, there's another gate. I need to break that. I need to, er, not break, but I need to open it. I'm not too happy about having two entrances. I will be honest. I would prefer a single, a single gate, a single entrance. But it seems like a decent place so far. Military boots. Don't have enough time to equip these. These are a little bit better than my regular shoes. He has got a mask. That's a welding mask. Uh, frying pan. Coveralls frying pan. Mm, I'm not going to pick that up. I can use that as a weapon. I'm not going to. Grab these chips in case we get hungry. What is that? something there. Oh, I was not even near where... Oh, that's right, I skipped this to come over here. So, uh, pink is... Pink is medical. Locked. Doesn't look like anyone's in there. Check it out. No one. First aid kit, put that on the ground to see if we can get anything out of it. Adhesive bandage, eh. It sounds good as regular bandage, but it's still a bandage. And I have none at the moment. Leave that door open. Here's another one wandered in. I will need to find somewhere to stay relatively fast. As... Um, the peak zombie population will start ramping up every day. Hmm. I hear a zombie. Hmm. I hear him, but I didn't see him. Oh, there's another gate. Ooh. I am not sure how I feel about this. Triple gates. I might just move on from this area, if I'm being perfectly honest. 
Let's check out some of there's a toolbox in here. Maybe we'll get lucky and find like a crowbar or something. Big fan of crowbars. Hammer, I need that. Oh no, I think I started with a hammer. I did. Uh screwdriver, we want that. Not sure why there's a gun cleaning kit in there. That's a little weird. Not sure why there was a gun cleaning kit at a uh construction site, but hey. You know? Do what you're gonna do. Ooh. That's kind of interesting though. Second story single entrance. If only I could block this. Oh, is it can toolbox have stuff in it? Let's check it out. Hand torch. I'm not worried about that. I never use hand torches. I like to wear the mask. I don't know why. There's another dead zombie. I'd really love to know if I, that's all in my head about uh, finding dead ones. Thing. I don't think there's anything here. Anyone inside? Glue is good, but I don't know if I want to pick it up. This really seems like a decent area, I just... Just don't know if I want to stay here. With triple, triple entrances. Um, doesn't look like anything else is sort of being picked up other than, you know, we can we can stick in one of these houses, but it's not quite as safe as having these uh, invulnerable, these tall gates and stuff, or walls that are in the game baseline are invulnerable, which is really nice. There's a cop car over there. Mm, should we check it out? No, no, no. Last thing I need is a gun and alerting everybody I'm here. Um, if you, for whatever reason, are watching this video and happen to be brand new to Zomboid, um, a quick tip for... Um, goodness, there's a lot of zombies. A quick tip for escaping, you know, zombies like this. You will walk faster than them, so you don't have to blow, sprint, and all that to get away. A lot of car. Oh, what's this down here? Here we go. Here we go. Here's something. I see two fenced-in lots. Uh, that looks like a fuel tanker down there. So they're beating on a gate. Anyone behind me? I don't see a second entrance. There's also the storage, uh, or... What are, the, what are these called? These little storage buildings over here. You can rent, like, a shed. Uh... One entrance. I think it's one entrance, and these guys are beating on it. So let's, let's just sprint over here. Let's see if this is open before they break it. Okay, let's get out of here. This is going to be a lot of zombies. And we are super panicked. Uh, so I can fight these guys. I do have multi-hit on, so packs of zombies aren't the end of the world. As long as we're careful about behind us and the durability of her bat. So I'm doing less damage right now because I, she is quite panicked. I don't remember what her name is. Push, swing, shove. Push, swing, shove. Hope nothing's behind you. Something is behind me. As we level up our skills, we will swing harder, shove faster, or not faster. What I mean to say is, um, higher chance to knock them down when we shove. So I think what we'll do is we'll fight inside of here. Um, make them come to us in here. Let's fight down here a little ways. So if we're going to make that shed up there our, you know, uh, domicile, then uh, we can't sleep near the zombies. You get sick if you're near dead bodies. So we want to make sure these guys are all over here. Otherwise, we spend a long time cleaning up dead bodies. Baseball bat's going down. Doing okay. It's behind us, I heard that. It's this is a crawler. Uh, 
Um, I believe base game... Oh no, base game this is it. I do have the highlights on. I know some people really like to play realistic. This is not a super realistic playthrough. This is... Uh, we're just playing. If I ever find a crowbar, I will be set up for success because I'm getting quite a bit of a blunt skill. Here's some more. Um, looks like I'm walking into some more. Uh, so we're gonna sprint over here. Quite a few zombies in here. Let's kill this one. And then let's walk. How many are actually in here? Not a whole heck of a lot. I can't tell what that is. Just a rundown building. Like a sports car or something here. So I've never been here, so I'm not super familiar with it, but this is perfect. This is exactly what we were looking for. So these tall gates, nothing can get through these tall gate or these tall fences, but it is a single uh, entrance point, which is what I like. So I'll, when we build up here, all we have to worry about is that single gate. I can get my carpentry skill up or metalworking and work on securing that front gate when it gets broken down. This can be a good spot for when the zombie population spawns in the game. Because we don't have to panic so much. Because we're going to spend a long time clearing zombies out as opposed to uh, simply exploring. Um, I have played a single character in Louisville with the setting very high. And um, it was shocking just how many zombies there were. Um, try to remember some of the zombie settings I had. I do have... this guy's crying. Um, I do have... Uh, they are set to fragile, I believe, and they are shamblers. More Walking Dead style zombies. They are set to very high, so there's gonna be a whole bunch of them. There's something else too. Oh right, the uh, rally size. So they are set, the rally groups are set to max, and they're going to rally to a thousand. So I, I'm curious to see what that'll be like. If we find groups of zombies as the days progress, they should be in very large groups as opposed to the small five or ten or so across. I do have a mod on that. Let's. Just we're running out of stamina. I need to go back up and rest a little bit here. Our bat is almost broken. Looks like there's another construction site right over there. Did not find anything in the previous one, so I doubt I'll find anything in you know this one. Uh, so let's pull this bat out. Sometimes you get lucky and there'll be some stuff in these cars. I don't think... I think I have... In pickup trucks I've found like a uh, axe or a crowbar or something, that would be good. We are uh, Lumberjack. Oh, look at this. This might be better than we, we had hoped for. And there's a crowbar. Okay, let's grab this. Uh, oh, I did that wrong. Okay, so attached to my back. It's not perfect condition, but that's okay. I will attach that to my back. And I will keep the bat out, and we'll swing the bat until it breaks. And then we will swap over to this crowbar. Okay, so there is a gas can here, that's good. This is this is cool. This almost looks like a little survivor area, because these gates are the... I'm pretty sure these gates are the uh, ones you can craft in-game. There's some more... Is that, was that more stuff in the back, or was that... Okay. Alright, so... Our stamina gauge is over here. We're not great, but they're all here now, so I sort of wasted my time exploring the, rather than. Uh, I don't have a watch. I don't know if I care right this second. Good. Doing okay. My. Um, for my playthroughs, generally when I die, it is because I get too impatient. Uh, I'm a very... Uh, I, would, I would describe my playstyle as aggressive, and I get a little bit too impatient waiting 
and I go out and take on large groups of zombies or clear out areas. And that's usually when I get in trouble. Um, I don't remember if I finished my thought before I got attacked by zombies, but uh, I have a mind that these zombies are going to just drop stuff. Rather than just dropping nothing, they are going to drop uh, stuff that they pick up. Make a little bit more sense, like if this was a apocalypse setting, the zombies you find would not necessarily be uh, with nothing. They would have some stuff on them. So I'm speeding up time a little bit. When you play single player, you can up the time rate. We'll go back to normal. Now our endurance is maxed out. Let's head over here and kill the rest of these guys that are invading our area. Every time one of these zombies sees me on the other side of this gate, they're going to try to path over to me. And there is no way in except for that gate. So they're going to slowly be making their way all the way around to that gate every time. So that gate's going to be a little bit dangerous for uh, a while here. We did find a crowbar. So that's okay. I would like to find a fire station. Because I am a lumberjack and I have the faster axe swing and axe skill. But long blunt is okay too. I am uh, I'm a big fan of the crowbar. So that's that's totally it's totally fine with me. I've never seen this particular field tanker in the game. I, that is a mod. I can't remember what what specific mod. I have a uh, more car types. It's like Auto Star or something. It adds trailers and RVs and stuff. I want to say I even have the RV mod and the RV interior mod, but I've never. Uh, I've never seen it, so I I don't know if it's working or not. Oh shit! That was close. I did not get bit. Um, I did hear the growling. I thought it was in the porta potty. It was not. That was. I need to check um, this game. Okay. Crowbar's out. Baseball bat's broken. It's all right. We have another weapon. If you've never played Project Android, it is very easy to die, and uh, your game can be over. Any bite is game over. There is no cure for the virus. It is a uh, death, a slow death. It takes a while to become infected. If you aim for the heads, they'll... Oh, this guy's got... He's got some stuff. Look at him. We want what he's got. Okay, we're getting a little bit panicked here. Full... We're at full red panic. Die, please. You are not welcome. This is my home. I have claimed this area. So let's find this guy. One of these guys has got duffel bag. Okay, drop this. Chips. I hear someone. Or is it? He's up there. Okay. I want this duffel bag. Ugh, do I have time? Do I have weight? Uh, I am good on weight. Okay. I want that duffel bag because it's better than what I have. This school bag that I have. Nice of him to bring it to me. Duffel bag on delivery. I'm going to leave this gate open for a while. I don't have the skills to build a gate. I don't remember the exact skill level for carpentry to build it. And for metalworking, it's even worse. So. Um, I can't say I've ever really... Here, another empty bottle. Okay, so did any sneak in by me while I was sort of wandering around? It doesn't look like it. looks like it's all cleared out. So while we are in full panic mode, let's go up here and check out this building. See what's in it. Uh, usually I struggle a little bit to find... What are the, some of the things I struggle with in this game? Um, not finding a generator. Uh, that's usually find lots of generators. For me, it's always finding the magazine. Um, in order to use the generator, you have to find a magazine that teaches you how to use it. And uh, I I have straight up been through 
an entire town, every library, every post office, every mailbox, and not found it. So usually that's uh, that's my right, let's let's put all this. While we're good, let's organize our inventory just a little bit here. So we're probably gonna be overweight in a second here because I'm unpacking all this and I'm gonna put it in my I'm gonna unequip this school bag. Drop. Just leave it there. Equip on back on my duffel. Now let's drop. Okay. Grab hammer. Okay, so let's adhesive, can opener. Burn saw. Ooh, I have too many saws. I didn't realize I had too many saws. That is my mistake. Don't need these either. Screwdriver, pen, hammer, garden saw, can opener, bandage. Okay, we'll put all this stuff in our duffel bag. I also have three water bottles. Um, I am. Uh, this character does have high thirst, so I will need that. Uh, another. I wonder if there could be anything in this. Tote bag. Should I check? So this car is open. Uh, there is no key here. Sometimes you can see the key on the ground nearby. Do you not see a key? I thought I saw... So yes, there's one lady. She's investigating. She's coming in. It'd be nice if we actually got super lucky and had a car that had a, um, a key. I mean, please. Nothing. Okay. The chances are not very high. But, you know, sometimes you do find it. sports car never seen that before that must be from that mod that I was talking about earlier um, one thing I am curious about with that mod I thought I read mod uh, that's I was talking about earlier how uh, dead zombies can sort of not be dead and I thought I was reading a guy was talking about it and he said that he had cleared out all the zombies in an area and when he came back through, one of the dead zombies uh, woke up and attacked him. And I wonder, someone was explaining that there's a very low chance of that happening. And I wonder, oh, look at all this stuff. Okay, so there, here's a key. So put this in our key bag. Unlock the trunk. Does it have gas? It does have gas. It seems like a... So we have a car. Not a very good car. Let's check out the trunk. A lot of gas cans over here. A tire pump though, we will need that. Take care of the tires. But um, I was reading that someone had said there was a very low chance that a zombie you kill can actually come back and be pretending that it's dead and can get you which seems frustrating. <laughs> we have this truck here. Did I check this truck? I think I did. It's open. Another tire pump. Locked. Also locked. I can break the window. Um, I'm not, not too worried about it, if I'm being honest. Bandage. Ooh, this is some good stuff. Alcohol wipes. More gas can. Okay, sir, this is a restricted area. I'm gonna have to ask you to leave, please. You are not wanted. What's in the back here? Gun case. Okay, let's drop that on the ground. Usually if it, there's no gun. I was gonna say, usually when you find a gun, there is a gun case, there is a gun. But there was no gun. Um, let's grab the Louisville map. So if I read this, um, it will uncover the map for me, 
I believe. So now if I open my map, yeah, I should have the Louisville area uncovered. Which doesn't seem like the full area. I feel like there's a whole section up here and there's supposed to be a river somewhere, so... Maybe the particular map I found, maybe there's like parts of the map. Maybe it goes like Louisville map one, Louisville map two, etc. This looks like a work truck. Locked. Check it out. Uh, oh, it's already open. Well, it's probably always open. So locked. Uh, when I get high enough skill, I don't remember the exact skill. Uh, you can... Read this map too. So we'll cover that area. Put it back. You can actually hotwire vehicles. I don't have the skill level. 44 mag. Mm. I don't know if I want to carry around just the magazine. Put these down here. Out of the way a little bit. Open. Okay, I feel like I checked that truck. What have we got here? A lot of zombies on the other side of the fence getting some Walking Dead vibes with just how many are hanging out. And I think it's just going to get worse. The That time I played a character on Very High in Louisville. Like, my game was just stuttering. There were so many zombies. The streets were completely covered in zombies. It was... It was wild. So... Uh, where are we? This is where we... So I'm not familiar with this area, so I'm gonna mark this as home. Um, and there is medical here. Community services, retail, uh, industrial. So this, this is somewhere we want to go immediately to loot. Uh, there will be generators in there. Uh, I don't need a generator. What I need, um, I'm gonna need quite a few, quite a few things to make this particular base work, unless we come across another gated community somewhere. So, what I would do is look at the map because we have a vehicle, and it has gas. We want to look for what might be, what might be a uh, rich neighborhood. So rich neighborhoods will be gated. So we're looking for something like like this area here. I'm not sure what this is. This is restaurants here. It's probably not it. But there, there might be something like down here. These four buildings. These four buildings. Um, maybe these here. These bigger houses might be gated. But this, none of this stuff will be. I mean, I can make these work for sure. But it's not quite what we're looking for. We're looking for something a little bit more move-in ready. Um, I also should make a note. I don't think it matters. Um, how do you text here? If I type in fuel tanker. Uh, requires an eraser. Oh, I need an eraser. Okay. We'll just leave that marking there then. Uh, agitated, nervous, and oh, that's right. Because she. Uh, before I do this, we're gonna need to loot these zombies. So let's finish. Oh wait, actually, I may have solved this myself. Because there is a convenience store right up the road. Question is now. I think I should perhaps walk there because if I take this vehicle, it is going to cause everybody to follow me now i know there's all these zombies here but they're yeah i think the smarter thing to do since we are not leaving and we are coming back we should walk there and then walk back looks like these guys are already beating down the doors there that's okay so we're gonna go across the road we need uh our goal is to find a Cigarettes and I've seen matches on a couple bodies, which I did not pick up. That's what I I think I saw them and was like wait 
Do I need these? Uh, matches, actually, just found them. Look at that. Haven't found this map yet. Read map. Put that back. Is there anyone around me? Not yet, so let's check the map. Okay, so there seem to be sections of the Louisville map then. There's no key for this, which is a bummer because it looks like it's in decent condition. Restaurant over there. Ambulance. I have bandages and stuff. Already. And I have alcohol wipes. Um, we do need... We really need... Oh, goodness. Goodness, goodness. That's a military backpack right there. Tape or band. Now, what I could do is leap. So, this is what I was expecting. That looks like a survivor in there. Um, these, when these zombies, when we come across these zombies, they should be in huge groups, which is what I was hoping for. Um, I think that's kind of cool. Okay, so here is a Zippo, what is a Zip? Is it Zippy Market? Yeah, this is what we want. Not a gas station, but Hopefully, we will come across uh, cigarettes in here. Usually, there's so many cigarettes. Die, please. Die faster before all the other zombies show up. Please tell me. Okay, okay. I was about to say. Before, how frustrating it would be. I need to get out of here. We are trapped in here. We need to leave before these guys start swarming us. Okay, so I have got uh, 120 cigarettes. Yeah, encumbrance 0 0.01. Okay, so we can get our agitation down by doing this. We'll walk on this side of the building because there is a massive group of zombies over there. I wish I had... I could do it. So this is where I usually get in trouble because I play so aggressively. I could take on that large group of zombies. Um, and try to get that survivor zombie. Or the one with the military backpack. Because look at them all sort of just moving about. The military backpack would be nice. It's big, it's heavy. Uh, I do know we can just go to a military checkpoint. It's not the, it's not the end of the world. There's another group. This is what I was really hoping for. <coughs> Excuse me. I really, I was really hoping that these zombies would be grouped up, and they looks like they are grouping up. Just perfect. It's exactly what I wanted. Okay, so they all followed me down to the zippy market so let's hope I'm gonna get in trouble I'm gonna get in trouble I am going to take a look I'm gonna take a look see if that guy with the military backpack is here <clears throat> excuse me I see him right there to see all these other guys. <clears throat> so I'm gonna walk away. There are so many zombies in here. We are in full panic mode, extreme panic, accuracy, vision. Okay. Let's see. He's here. You can see him. This is so many zombies. This is so many zombies. Oh, one shot. Now I just need to... Walk away, come back, hope for the best. Let's see... Um, I don't see that survivor zombie in there, though. I don't see him coming out. He was wearing some goofy-looking gear. He really stood out. It looked like he was wearing like a bunch of nonsense um 
modded gear, like camo pants and a bunch of junk that doesn't matter because a zombie doesn't care if you blend in or not. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna get in trouble. I'm gonna so I'm going to regret this. You can trip and fall and hurt yourself. I want this backpack. Give it to me. Got it. Okay. Oh my goodness, look at them all. They're just piling out. Oh, this is perfect. This, I could not be happier right now. The scary part for me at the moment is, is that this isn't maximum population. This is currently the ramp up stage on day one. So it means it's going to get worse. Uh, when they actually ramp up on day 15 or whatever it is, it's going to be even more than this. So anywhere we go is going to be an absolute nightmare. So I've got this great big backpack. Um, I'm just going to sprint. We're going to get away from these guys for now. I've listed this as home. I know where this is. We're going to get in the car and we're going to go look around. This car is not in the greatest condition. Uh, and the condition of the car will affect the noise that it makes. So we may end up, we may end up, um, attracting zombies, which is why I didn't want to bring it over to the Zippy Merc market. Let's put all of this in this backpack and we are going to equip it. And I'll put this, uh, duffel bag probably in the trunk of that car because you can actually equip a duffel bag in your, uh, cans so uh unequip and let's pick this up selecting it watch oh i gotta pick it up first equip on back okay let's put the duffel bag in there oh no we'll, well it's all right it's all right here they come oh shit we need to go 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 like 10 minutes ago we need to go, we need to go like five minutes ago. I didn't think this through. Hopefully I don't die right here. They're going to surround the gate. Okay, all right. We are good. We're good for now. Let's just cruise. Oh, and here's a fire station. And it's surrounded by big gates. Dare I? This is why I get in trouble. This is how I play. I get so distracted by just everything. These guys are going to have axes and stuff. So that's what I'm after because I am a lumberjack. This is a cool area. I don't know if we'll stay here, but I would like an axe or two. Oh, almost got back. Almost, almost. I wonder if this is not the actual fire station right here. I wonder if this is like uh, office building. Shit. 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 I might be right. What I'm worried is that there isn't actually shit. There isn't actually fire equipment in here because we need the fire axe. So. Is this dog kennels? That or something? How oh, weird. Okay, none of these are doors, which is irritating. Doing a lot of running. Not happy with that. Oh, it's shut. Okay. These are all shut. Or shut. Yes, they are they are shut, I am correct, but locked is what I meant to say. I am thinking I'm not I'm not thinking before I speak. Okay. Where would they keep axes in this damn place? Cleaning closet. No. Be somewhere in here. Probably in there. 
I don't want to get stuck in there. Oh, I really don't want to get stuck in here. X. Perfect. More X's. Touched my back. So this is... What is this? Three axes? Let's just call it... Let's just call that good. Get out of here. We don't need more than three axes. We'll just leave. So I... Uh, I have axe skill. I have three. This is what I started with. I have bonus experience with axe skill because of my perks. And I have... What is it? It's... It's called... It's, it's the thing you get for being a lumberjack. Axeman. Um, you swing your axe faster. Okay, we need to be quick here. Look at all these guys. They want me. This is where you get in trouble. Quality of your car. Affects your escape. Come on, start. Come on. Okay. We're gonna get out. We're gonna fight these guys. This didn't work. Quality of the car affects the uh, starting conditions, the engine specifically, which I don't think can be repaired easily, if at all. This axe is just like my crowbar, meaning it's two-handed and will drain my stamina pretty quick. So we have to be a little bit careful with that, but otherwise I do have the traits to go with it. So, um, this is what we want. This is the ideal situation. We want to be using axes. Now, come on. It's starting. Of course it starts now. Go figure. This car is going to get me killed. Okay. We need to find a decent area. And... Open up the map. Because we need... Okay, so... We've got a decent ride. Whatever this this looks like a almost looks like a military is this military or is this like a festival area? It's got the tall fences so they can't get through. But if it doesn't have anything else, it's not really worth my time. Uh, Memorial Park. Yeah, that might just be a festival area that was being held when the. Uh, outbreak happened. There's a bus and a car and a fuel tanker truck. There's a motorcycle. Look at all these zombies. This is wild. It's just wild how many zombies there are. I'm gonna play in um, West Point, Muldrow all the time. And then I start a character up in Louisville. It's, it's wild how many zombies are in the game at any given point. So this is a big house. I see a fence. There's a fence there, but there's a way in the back. There's a way in the back there. Let's scope it out. This doesn't look sealed. This doesn't look sealed at all. This is this is a bust. This is not the situation we were hoping for. Not an ideal situation. These little fences are not good and get over them. We want these big tall fences, but none of these are um, secured. I don't remember the exact location of the next area I wanted to scope out and uh, we need to check the map. There's a nice truck there. High condition. I believe I have uh, vehicle spawns a little bit higher than uh, usual, so we should see uh, nicer vehicles a little bit more often than usual and more vehicles in general not just nicer vehicles but there should just be a lot of vehicles in general none of these houses look okay either oh boy 
This all seems like a bust. These are big houses, big nice houses, but it doesn't look like any of them are... Oops, I hit one. Every zombie you hit damages your vehicle. So I'm trying to avoid them. This vehicle is already on its last leg. Uh, worst case scenario in this vehicle, you bump a zombie. The vehicle is already damaged, so it turns off. And then as you saw at the fire station, which struggled to start, uh, I have to try to start it again while surrounded by zombies. Um, this looks like a bad... This looks bad. Let me get out of here. We're getting surrounded here. Um, good idea, bad idea? Mm, bad idea is what it is. Definitely a bad idea, but... I'm gonna do it anyways because it's... I mean, the game says this is how you died, right? There's some fencing. This is the type of fencing you can't get through. Oh, hello. Is this what we were looking for? I cannot get in there though with this vehicle. What I might do is turn, let's just turn this back way off. Let's hop the fence. Okay. And we will scope it out and see what is going on in here. Um, I need to check the map too. Okay, I'm tired. I didn't realize I was tired. Um, when you are tired, your damage is reduced. Um, significantly, not a small amount. It's a very, very noticeable amount. These guys are all coming through. So this is clearly not blocked off. Is this one of the larger house areas? Yes, it is. This is what we were looking at. This is actually the last area here of the larger, nicer houses. Try to trust these zombies here, but I don't know. I don't understand how you're supposed to play without trusting the corpses either on the ground. Um, so let's take a look. I don't know. Can you walk through this or do you have to climb it? Okay, you can walk through it. So come out here in the middle. We need to verify there's a pond. That's pretty good. I need to really be careful. Um, our moodlets are not good. We're tired, panicked. We're also hungry. That's not the end of the world. It takes the swing. So many zombies. This is, um, this does seem better than where we were, though, so far. Let's see if we can get behind us. Make sure no one's sneaking up behind me. Okay. Oh, missed. Stamina is seems okay. We're just full panicked. I haven't found any big markers. There's a pill you can take that will stop the full panic from zombies, uh, or at least help with it. These are all the zombies I think that followed me in the car. Like I was saying at that uh, junkyard, um, they cannot go over these large fences, so they find the nearest path, and the nearest path is that front entrance, which we didn't go through. Okay. This is not ideal. Please. This axe has actually been really durable. I may be eat I may be jinxing it, but it just seems like it has not gone down in durability. Bam. Okay. There's a few more coming. So this is clearly an entrance here. Um, and I can see this particular house is fully blocked off. I can't see beyond those trees down there though. Uh, 
I have respawning zombies off, so I don't need to worry about them popping into existence in areas I've cleared already. It might be ideal to check that area first. It looks like it's blocked off. It may be safe to assume that that is blocked off. I can't see how I'm going to do this without going house by house to do this because we are currently oh and you know what's going to happen here too is uh, one of these houses is going to be alarmed good I think I hear growling I do I actually hear lots of growling It's like these guys didn't make it out of the house. This is one in here. There could be lots in here. Sometimes when you open these doors, there could be like a dozen behind the door. Okay, let's check the back. Um, I think I see the fence. It looks good. Lots of banging upstairs. Lots of banging upstairs. Check this one. Office. Is this just a... Oh, this... Okay, I get it. There is a... Seems like what... Seems like a serious amount of zombies up here. Or maybe it is just the two. Hear more. There are only so many doors in here, so might be that one there. Could be this closet. No. Front door, maybe? It could also be one that followed me. Oh no, here we go. What is this? Master bedroom, bathroom? It's this one. Perfect. This is a big old bathroom. Goodness, this is a nice house. Better house than my house. Look at this friggin' thing. This house is huge. Okay, let's scope out the front yard real quick. This peach. We are hungry. We never found a, or at least I, I found, but never equipped a watch, so I don't know the current time. It must be getting late. Okay, we have got no stragglers coming in. This seems like a, it seems like a decent, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um... It, it seems like it could be easily blocked off. If these other two houses down here aren't blocked off, we can fence over. And, and it's a big house, and it is close to Louisville. It's not close to any shops or anything, but it is close to a lot of houses. A whole lot of houses to loot. Let's shut these doors. We will go upstairs. It looks like she is... She wants a smoke, it looks like. Um, there is a zombie in there, isn't there? I need to get rid of that corpse. Uh, if you, I, I think as I was, I may have said it earlier, but uh, sleeping near bodies is bad for your health. Your character will get sick. Let's head upstairs. We'll shut our door. And uh, we will sleep. Maybe. Sleep. Yes. Excellent. And um, this 
might be where I end this episode. It was a pretty decent uh, start, I think. A little bit of panic there, but that's usually how it goes. Um, I don't know where I am currently. This little gated community. I was hoping for something like this. There was a... Uh, was it Rosewood and Riverwood and whatnot? There are areas that are similar to this. They're gated and uh, you can't... You, you can just sort of put one wall up and block the whole thing off. But yeah, we'll end here. Thank you for watching. And uh, we'll, on the next episode, we will start clearing out this area.